in Investing 101 today. Joining me now is Eric Perez. He's a financial advisor with Morgan Stanley Chicago, here to talk about one of my favorite topics, following the herd. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So this is a situation where people might hear of a hot stock from a neighbor, a cousin, a friend, and they want to jump in because everybody's doing it, or maybe even the overall stock market, because again, they want to be in and doing what the in crowd is doing. Sure, so. Sure. Do you see a lot of this? Absolutely, absolutely. Following the herd is really an emotionally driven uh, investment component that many of us are guilty of, uh, but one could argue staying true to your own personal investment plan um, that does take into account your own personal goals, objectives, uh, your time horizons, and any sort of risk tolerances you may have is probably the more prudent investment plan. Why is that? Why is it not generally a good idea to follow the herd? Uh, for a myriad of reasons. One, many many folks typically tend to kind of follow these hot topic news newsworthy items or something that may be emotionally charged when it may not necessarily be the most prudent thing for their investment plan. Absolutely. Sometimes they might be the smaller guy at the bottom of the chain and they get burned because everybody else knew when to get out and Ab they stayed in. Absolutely. Understanding the risk tolerances involved with each of these investments is always key. So if you're not wanting to be the following the herd type of investor, but maybe do some adjustments to your portfolio, how do you know when it's time to make some adjustments? Sure, so typically uh, micro events within one's personal life, whether that be retirement, uh, maybe the purchase of a new home, things like that nature, um, typically are, are good opportunities for you to take a look at your overarching portfolio and see if any changes need to be made at that time. How do you avoid following the herd? What are some strategies there? Sure, th there's many and, and really one of the most prudent I would say is staying true to your investment plan, but secondarily, um, many of us check our investment accounts daily and, and oftentimes that could be an emotionally, uh, an emotionally charged day as well, knowing that the investment returns over a period of time t typically rebalance themselves. Now this is the tougher question. The stock market has been on a great run. So a lot of people are starting to join in now. Sure. So what are you advising your clients or what are some suggestions or strategies here? Well, oftentimes we like to work with, uh, with clients for, for longer term strategies. So this isn't necessarily a day to day investment. Um, while typically following the herd could be um, seen as more lucrative on the short term, following a longer term investment plan is typically what we try to recommend. Well, a pleasure having you here. The Thank pleasure you. Oh, mine. Yeah, we can oh. shake. Thanks Thank so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me.